Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with this week's ViewCast. Usually great art doesn't need improvements, which is why it's considered great, but where that art is showcased often makes a big difference. That's why Vanderbilt just completed an impressive renovation to one of our buildings, which is now the home of our new fine arts gallery. Princeton Lewis takes us inside Cohen Memorial Hall. What really separates Vanderbilt out as far as the collection in this region is really there's nothing quite like it as far as, as, far as the, the breadth and scope of our collection. Nowhere else can you go and see Renaissance painting in Nashville except here. One of Vanderbilt's hidden treasures now has a new home. The Fine Arts Gallery has moved from the historic old gym to Cohen Memorial Hall. The new gallery opened this fall and is currently showcasing a portion of Vanderbilt's close to 6,000 piece art collection. Some names you might recognize, like Rembrandt and Dolly. We have over on the Grand Staircase, we have um, the Grand Dauphin of France, son of Louis XIV. Um, we have a display of our, of our uh, Ch Chinese funerary art, Art of the Tomb, and also our redware pottery. But scattered throughout the building is just remarkable art, including prints and, and works in paper. We have a um, fantastic bodhisattva in the, in the gallery, at the back of the gallery. That's probably our most important Asian piece in the collection. The move to Cohen brings Vanderbilt's art back to a building that originally opened in 1928 as an art museum. The classroom seminar rooms and newly added faculty offices for the art history and classical studies departments combine hands-on experience with classroom learning. Putting these two things together, it makes perfect sense because the students can walk into a gallery, they can see a Renaissance painting, they can see a Greek redware pot and have that first-hand experience. And so that was natural. For ViewCast, I'm Princine Lewis. You can learn more about the new Fine Arts Gallery and its collections at vanderbilt.edu slash gallery. When you think of breast cancer, you instantly think of juggling, right? Well, maybe it's not the first thing that pops to mind, but the Vanderbilt Ingram Cancer Center is hoping these female jugglers will remind you to catch it early. That's the new campaign slogan encouraging women to get breast cancer screenings early and often. You can watch the full video and get lots of helpful information on breast cancer at catchiteearly.org. You can read about the latest cancer research and find out about breast cancer screenings at vicc.org. Uh. Chart-topping hip-hop artist, producer, music mogul, and Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z, is considered one of the hottest music stars in the world, and he's putting on a show right here at Vanderbilt. Students lined up for a crazy number of hours to get first dibs at tickets to the November 13th show at Memorial Gym. I guess for me, he's just like such an enigma, so to actually see him perform is going to be amazing, and I'm hoping that Beyonce comes to <laughs> You can check to see if tickets are still available at the Strat box office or Ticketmaster.com. You can see a video of students camping out and hear why they think Jay-Z is worth the wait at InsideVandy.com. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.